Hi everyone. In this class, we will create the tetra and prism mesh for the circular cylinder. And this geometry has the length of 8 meters and diameter of the 0.2 meters. We can define the mesh types for 2D cases. This is known as a cord or full form is the quadrilateral and tri elements and the full form is the triangular elements and 3D shapes are the hexahedron or the hexa mesh, tetrahedron or tetra pyramids. The pyramids has the four sides of the triangular shape and the one base of the rectangular or square shape and prism has the three sides of the rectangular shape and top and bottom they are of the triangular shape. So first of all, we open the ICM CFD. So first we change the working directory to the directory where we have the our files. So file, change working directory. And from here, we have the directory for the file for circular cylinder. And then there are commands which you can use and uh, this ppd file is provided as the pdf file and you can refer about the steps uh, in the bin white and also I'm going to continue with uh, directly on the ICM CFD. So first go to the file menu and from file menu click on the import model. And here we have the geometry of circular cylinder dot agdb. This is the design modeler file. And open the file here. Click on OK. And if the the sum file is already there, it will ask you about the merge or replace. And we don't want to merge those both files. So we just rather want to replace the file. So here we have the file and uh, click on surfaces and points as well and then click on the fit window and also click on the shaded region. And the first thing is that delete the body from the uh, material point from the this geometry and uh, create the your own body or the material point. So let's say we call this one as the fluid and uh, choose the two locations and uh, we are going to choose the two diagonal locations so that the point should be inside the geometry. And uh, we will create the parts of this geometry and uh, for example right click here and create part the first part is going to be the inlet and it should be in the positive z direction so inlet is going to be on this side and check the boxes for the point selection, curve selection and the body point selection so that these entities should not be selected when we select the surfaces. So select the surface with the help of the left mouse button and then click on the middle mouse button to confirm selection. And continue with the, in the same fashion. So the second one is the wall. And the third one is the outlet. 